Radeon RX 7900 XTX will be the most expensive AMD graphics card, in China, prices reach up to $1,850. Only a blind gamer with a memory disorder doesn't see how much video cards have risen in price in recent years. Just five years ago, the GeForce GTX 1080T was asked for $700, but in the last generation, the fastest graphics chip cost from $2,000 in American retail and more than €2,500 in Europe. You can say as much as you want that the GeForce RTX XX90 series is intended for enthusiasts, but this is not the case, since video cards on this graphics chip are produced in large numbers. According to NVIDIA, the first batch of GeForce RTX 4090 was at least 100,000 units, which were sold out in just two weeks. It is clear that some gamers, bloggers and all the same enthusiasts have money, but video cards for ordinary computer game levers are also becoming more expensive. For example, in the last generation, the GeForce RTX 3080 cost $700, but today for the GeForce RTX 4080 they ask from $1,200 in American stores and from €1,500 in European retail. In the Russian Federation, such a video card started with 120,000 rubles, which corresponds to a price of $2,000. At the same time, Jensen Wong uses his favorite strategies, doing everything possible to reduce the number of video cards in the middle and lower price segments in retail. So, most recently, the GeForce RTX 2060 series of graphics chips was discontinued. And next up is the GeForce RTX 3060, which may interfere with sales of the GeForce RTX 4060. There is less and less good news, and recently it has come to the point that experts are talking about a drop in demand, as a positive signal for gamers. Allegedly, the less video cards they buy, the faster manufacturers will start to reduce prices, seizing on the falling market. It is possible that everything will happen exactly like this, but until recently, many major technology publications showed modest optimism about the release of AMD's next-generation graphics chips. It was assumed that Lisa Su would be able to sober up her relative with less aggressive prices. It looks like nothing like this will happen. Recall that the recommended price of the new AMD flagship called Radeon RX 7900 XTX starts at $999. It is clear that this is only for American gamers, but yesterday in China they began to publish the first prices for new products that have not yet been released. Tobel was among the first to show up, where several power color models are available. So, for the most upgraded model of the Red Devil series, they will ask for $11,399 yuan or $1,622. If you haven't already forgotten that the GeForce RTX 4090 costs the same amount in American retail, which means that there is no question of trying to make a competitive price at all. The Radeon RX 7900 XT Hellhound series model can be snapped up for $9,788 yuan or $1,393. But the less high-speed Radeon RX 7900 XT in the same Hellhound series will cost Chinese gamers 8,688 yuan or $1,236. In fact, this is far from the highest price in the Chinese market, because there are offers even higher, and some sellers plan to sell the Radeon RX 7900 XTX for 12,999 yuan or $1,850. The second fastest Radeon RX 7900 XT costs 9,999 yuan or $1,425. At the same time, there are persistent rumors that deliveries to the Chinese market will be scanty, and as a result, Gamers there will receive video cards from AMD partners, while reference models will be sold in other markets. This approach does not inspire optimism, which means that we should not expect lower prices for video cards in the foreseeable future. Lisa Su doesn't seem to have a plan to rein in the market, but it may be too expensive for the company itself. If you haven't already noticed, the market share of AMD's custom graphics fell to 10% in November, 
while Nvidia continues to squeeze out an ever larger slice of the pie even in the face of falling demand. Things are going badly for both companies, but Jensen Huang has millions of gamers in his hands who will still buy graphics cards, no matter how expensive they are. But Lisa Su is playing a dangerous game. Another attempt to increase margins with each unit sold has already cost AMD a significant drop in market share, and it is impossible to fall further, because reds already occupy a niche part of the market.